it's uh friday october 20th 2017 this is nate ness um just gonna tell you a little bit about myself i am uh 39 years old i'm from phoenix arizona south phoenix i lived in alaska for probably like 10 years total um i was a door knocker there what I did was I sold cable door to door and also I sold internet as well as cell phones. Um, and when I sold cell phones, I sold them in the outer regions of the Arctic and all of Alaska basically. basically. Um, so um, I've been in direct sales for probably 10 years. Um, <clears throat> after that, uh, I have owned a couple of apartment complexes as well. I've owned two apartment complexes while I was, uh, you know, being a direct salesman or a door knocker for the company that I used to work for in Alaska. Um, so basically, like, if you can knock on doors and sell stuff, um, you know, essentially what people think is that you're gonna be good at real estate. Um, and that's not really true because there is a lot of really good salesmen out there. Um, there's shady salesmen, there's pushy salesmen, there's really nice salesmen. Um, you know, there's a lot of really female, really smart female uh, salesmen um, who aren't really aggressive. There's um, uh, introverted type people that are real more quiet and like to listen more than actual, actually speak, which is, I think, the best way to actually close any deal is to listen to the person's problem and, and try to find the need for that. Um, that's, what, that's what essentially makes you rich. So... Um, I did that for 10 years. Um, I quit my job. I sold my apartment complexes and um, I, I moved to, back to Arizona to pursue uh, a career in whole estate, uh, a career, a career in whole estate, a career in real estate um, as an investor. Um, now, you know, an investor is really considered somebody who invests in properties. So when you say you're being an investor, you're not really investing in properties when you're doing what I'm currently doing now, which what I'm doing is basically buying and selling homes with contracts. I'm making money without money. Um, the term investor really means that you're investing in some sort of a, a property or some sort of share that makes you money on a passive level, okay? Um, but that's really hard um, to get into if you want to get into like bigger units, like really big units, like 200 units, um, and, but again, it can be done without money. Um, so what I essentially do is make money without money. And I've been doing that for the last probably five years. Um, quit my job. Um, I had a really nice car. I had to give up the car. Um, you know, my credit went bad. Um, I was living off unemployment. And um, I just started uh, learning from guys that were in the industry rather than, you know, uh, trying to do it on my own you know because you need somebody to answer your questions basically but um, what I would do for them is I would go out and I would knock on doors for them so I you know really didn't know what to do or what to say in the beginning I really was on my own it was just like here's a list just go knock these and then if we find something we'll uh, we'll come over and we'll we'll close the deal for you <laughs> so that that's essentially what you know, I had to go through just to get to where I'm at today, which I'm doing deals on a regular basis. Um, and it's great because it's great money. Um, and you really don't have to do, you know, you don't have to wake up at a certain time. You don't have to, uh, you know, answer to anybody really. Um, you just kind of have to, you know, either put together a team or just get out and pound doors every day. Now, when you first start out, that's exactly what you want to do. So, um, you know, if you don't have any money or you don't want to spend the money, um, you know, just to start getting in the industry, you at least need a mentor. Um, and I always, if anybody ever asks me what the best investment, if, if there's a good investment, they have money, what I tell them is their education, okay? That's essentially what the best uh, investment is, is your, yourself. And that's, you know, your education. If you don't learn, is real estate a good investment? Uh, not, not if you're a shitty realtor, uh, you know, real estate uh, investor. Like, if you don't know what you're doing, then yeah, you, real estate is not a good thing at all for you. you. You don't know what you're doing. You need the education. So that's really 
um, you know, what you need to learn first. I had a friend from, from way back when I was probably like, since I was 14, I've known him since I was 14 years old. Um, he called me and asked, and told me that he, you know, he, I knew he had inherited all this money from this de this restaurant that they sold and eventually tore down and they're building something else. And him and his two brothers got some money out of it, right around $100,000 probably each. It was something like that when we spoke. Um, uh, and, he, you know, he asked me, he was, he was like, well, if I bought, my friend bought uh, a house in Pittsburgh for $20,000. He's like, do you think that that's a good investment? And I'm like, do you know anything about real estate? Like, what if you buy it? Like, do you know what to do? Do you know how to fix it? And he's a handyman. He's like, yeah, I know how to fix it. He's like, do you know how to collect rents? Do you know how to uh, hire a property management company and make sure that they are staying on top of your shit and making sure that they, they're, they're taking care of your property? Like, you don't know anything. Um, you know, and again, if you go out and buy something for $20,000, um, it might make money, it might not. Um, but I wouldn't risk that kind of money when you can spend $5,000 and educate yourself on what actually to do and then first learn how to make money without money. And then once you have some real money, like $100,000, then you would know what to do with it. So I think it's really risky. A lot of the, you know, people that are out there especially the, the, the husband and wife couples that, you know, they pull money out of their 401k, they, um, you know, they take a couple flip classes and they're ready to throw their money down and, and figure out if they can flip a house. Um, it, it, it's really, again, you know, I go by this model, you know, if you can't make money without money, you really can't make money with money. So on average, any flipper is really making, um, any be beginner flipper is usually making right around five to $10,000 or maybe even $15,000. If you make $20,000 in your first flip, congratulations. Um, it took you uh, probably three months to do that. Um, I did a deal that, that took me maybe, I don't know, a month and a week and it was a $55,000 shitty house I didn't put any money into it and I made $33,000 on it. So, um, you, you know, again, it's really just the education that can make you that kind of money. So I'd rather spend money on educating myself on how to use other people's money uh, rather than spending, um, you know, money out of my 401k and my savings uh, to, <laughs> to go and, and flip a house. Um, so to me, that's just ludicrous. Like. You know, and, and it's not like you can't learn, but you know, a lot of people, they don't understand markets as well. You have, a, maybe you have your all of your money in one, rolled up in one flip, and then all of a sudden there's a, uh, you can't sell your property because a recession has just happened, or it's just not selling for whatever reason, and you know, you end up losing money on it, you know? So you got your money back maybe, but you lost about four or $5,000, or you lost $10,000, you know? But you got some money back, so it's not like, totally did but again you lost money because you didn't educate yourself what you did was you just took a couple classes had some money in through you know and then 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 again you don't even have the time to do it because you're usually working a nine to five um so you know and it's a big project because it's your project and you got to make sure that the, the contractor is doing his work and how do you know to trust that if it's your first deal if it's your first house flip like how do you know which contractor to pick you know, um, and so these things really do matter when you are becoming, um, you know, an investor in the real estate market, you know, or people that make money in the real estate market. That's essentially what I do. Um, I'm an investor because I invest in my company. I invest in uh, teaching my partners and the people that I work with how to do what I do and keep everything really basic. Um, so I consider myself an investor, um, but somebody just, that just has money and, and flips something is not necessarily a, a real investor. Um, uh, you know, and again, you, you really have to develop a system if you're going to be successful at um, any sort of endeavor. Um, people flip houses all the time, but you know, you, you need money, and when you get up to the uh, level of your you've got 10 to 20 houses that you're flipping at one time um, again you have to have a network for that you got to be a pro at that so um, there's all different kinds of ways to make money in real estate you have your apartment complexes 
commercial buildings. Those takes those take teams of people or systems that work to find the deals to either close them, invest in them, buy them, hold them, buy them, sell them. Um, property pr management companies, accounting, um, uh, you know, marketing, sales, all of that kind of stuff matters um, in any business that you're in. So again, you want to learn first. Uh, on how to do some uh, subject and you want to pay for the education of that subject or you want to maybe work for somebody for free you know what I mean that's essentially what I did when I started um, what I offer is uh, you know mentorship to teach you how to do the basic wholesale single-family home flip it's just a contract flip it has nothing to do with rehabbing a property you're just going out you're finding somebody that needs to sell the property you put it under contract find somebody that needs to buy it done deal the title company does all the work um, you just got to make sure that the numbers work and that everybody is informed in, in what's going on what they're getting paid um, being honest about everything if there's any hiccups it's a pretty basic formula it's it's it's, it's very easy to learn um, you know and again spending five thousand dollars to learn that I would rather do that and learn how to make my five thousand dollars back in maybe one or two deals or the first deal that I do uh, and then going on uh, to doing other deals uh, and learning more about uh, how to make money without money and what kind of um, you know nooks and bullshit that happens all the time in, 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 in real estate because it's not easy um, in no matter what industry part of the, the industry that you're in whether you're selling homes as a realtor whether you're flipping house as a flipper whether you're wholesaling homes like I do um, and I prefer that method because it's learning how to make money without money or making money without money um, and you make a lot more than realtors do guarantee that on 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 any sort of uh, level you can wholesale and make more than a than a realtor without any sort of a license so um, you know because there are the million dollar uh, listing realtors out there but there's people that are doing the, the deals that that they do that that size of, of a home and they're making more money because they're they're utilizing the, the 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 motivation or the pain of somebody that's actually losing their property okay so a realtor needs to sell a property therefore you have to have money down or good credit as, as an investor or uh, somebody that's buying properties without really any money um, is essentially just doing a lot of homework and finding the people that need help. So they're helping the people. Uh, in my opinion, <laughs> realtors create problems because every time they sell a house, 10 years down the road, people are either getting divorced or they lost their job or, um, you know, they started doing drugs and, you know, whatever happened. I mean, I've done so many deals. There's so many different stories that, you know, people run into those problems because they take out a 30-year mortgage you know and there's nothing nothing against realtors they're just doing what they're taught to do and they're like glamour or you know it's a lot of like they're so glamorous being a realtor when all they do is just buy and sell homes which is essentially what I do but we do it in a more creative way we make more money and it gets us faster to wealth than actually just working for um, you know Remax or uh, any of the other you know top branches or working for a private branch and, and you're a, a real estate agent and you have your name on a business card and a shopping cart and all of a sudden you know you're you're somebody that works in real estate um, guys like me you know I, I really wear jeans every day with sneakers and I knock on people's doors and I act and look like them so they don't think that I'm like a vulture you know I'm trying to help people out most of the time you do get a lot of rejection in this industry but um, you know it's very lucrative um, and it's and it's something that you can get into where you can start to invest in other companies and things that you really want to do or travel um, and prepare for your retirement um, if whatever happens with my health right now if I need um, help you know with some sort of a medical condition I have enough money to pay for that whether I have insurance or not so um, you know there, there's really no um, limit to what you can make as far as uh, wholesaling single-family homes and then investing the money back into some sort of other business that uh, you might be wanting to get into um, you know things like film and 
uh, you know, you can do Bitcoin now. Um, you can do the Forex stock trading where you can buy in at $5,000. Um, I bought a cab, uh, you know, for $5,000 in the Dominican Republic. It makes me about $400 a month. That's a pretty good passive income for just $5,000. And I get that, you know, until it, forever, not just when the car is paid back. So, um, and if I buy more cars, it, it you know, expands and I can make a lo little bit more money. Not $400 a car, every single car after that, but you know, you have to kind of grow a company. But there's all different kinds of ways to make money once you get into wholesaling. And there's different investments that you can do, and it allows you to do that because it makes so much fucking money. And um, what the people that really make the money in the industry are the ones that are actually going out and getting it. So, like on my last little podcast, like I was saying that you know, the, the gurus are all going to tell you the stories of how they got deals, and they're going to tell you like what happened at the deal and how it was funny or what kind of drama happened or um, what kind of you know how much money they made. Um, and a lot of these are really true um, because I know these guys. They know the industry because they're teaching you the education. Obviously, they know something about it if they're teaching it to you. Um, but they don't really focus on the door knock and uh, you know doing yellow letters and hanging bandit signs and um, you know sending out letterheads and having a business card and all that kind of shit really is. Um, you know, necessary in the future, I guess. But for me, uh, you know, going out and just proactively getting a deal is something that I can do on a regular basis. And I don't really need anything but a little bit of information and my car and my cell phone. And that's it. I mean, and I can scrape money off of the street and make $20,000 just by myself. Um, you know, I don't like the little deals where they're just doing, you know, $5,000 deals. I mean, I'm, I'm happy when I get those. Absolutely. But there's uh, deals that you can do. You know, my highest deal was 33 grand. I had a partner call me this morning. He told me he made 47. Um, and I've done a lot of deals with him. So I know he's not bullshit. Um, and there's those type of deals out there. So um, if you want to learn how to make money without money, uh, you know, I offer a mentoring program. Um, my name is Nate Ness. My phone number is 602-926-0046. Um, and again, we're out hustling every day you know, knocking on people's doors and helping them, them out with their, their tough situations and getting them out of hot water, saving their credit, putting money in their pocket, putting money in our pocket, and also, um, you know, putting money in the pocket of the person that actually buys the house. So again, we don't use any money. We just use the people that actually have the money and they like to flip the houses. So we have no real stake in the game other than the fact that we're gonna go out and work and, and put something under contract and then sell it and not really have any risk whatsoever and have total control. Um, and that's what wholesaling is all about. Um, again, Nate Ness Education, 602-926-0046. All right, I'm out.